Hello there Aries and Aries Rising. This is going to be your June 2015 forecast for the month of June. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is cut these cards and put them in two quarter or in four quarters. Two cards here, two cards here, two cards here, and two cards here. After I go ahead and do that, what I'm going to actually do is I am going to, um, to, I was actually, a card just fell out if you noticed. I guess I'll go ahead and grab that card again. I put it right back in the deck, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get that card back because <laughs> it just sort of kind of fell out while I was talking and I was like, mm, should I do it? Should I do it? No, no. And then I was like, well, no, I need to. So let me go ahead and put this card back up here. Anyways, yeah, there's going to be two quarters, so four quarters. going to be two cards here, two cards here, two cards here, and two cards here for you this month, Aries. Let's see what's go ahead and what is going to go ahead and go on this month for you. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do is just start cutting this deck here, and we're going to see what comes out. There we go. We've got some some stuff wanting to come out here, and we're just going to go ahead and put it down just like this. Oh my goodness! It's this. It's the exact amount of cards again. Okay. Anyways, man, Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay. So anyways, um, all right, so the first card you've got here in, in your month, King of Coins, is, or, or Aries, is the King of Coins, okay? King of Coins is all about money. So this month is going to be a huge amount thing about money. Money's going to be the focus for you this month. Money, 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 Aries. It's a very, very important thing to understand that you're going to be in control of money this month. It's a very, very wonderful thing. It's almost like a blessing coming to you. In terms of this King of Coins, though, it's so, so, so important, Aries, to understand just how much you're going to be in control. So what you're going to want to do is make sure not to overspend, but at the same time, understand you're in control of the money. So you can really do whatever you want to do this month in terms of uh, in terms of money. So allow that and do the kind of things that are going to cause you to kind of feel more in control because you are in control this month, Aries. I'm really getting control, control, control a lot. You're in control, okay? This next card is the Knight of Cups. It seems a little bit like in terms of the first quarter of the month, Aries, it's going to be kind of like the King of Coins and Knight of Cups are talking about you're going to have a rush of kind of like cleansing emotions. You're going to be able to feel really, really good from all of the money that you be able so actually here we go spend money in ways that make you feel good and spend and, and feel good because that you've been able to earn that money or you've been able to receive that money if you receive a gift or if you work at a job and you gain a promotion or just you know just spend your paycheck wisely this month because in the first quarter if you spend it in a way that make your kind of emotions kind of just feel like waves and just move around, hey, the rest of the month is going to be very, very sparkling for you, okay? King of Coins and Knight of Cups, it's kind of like you're going to want to wash off your coins in the water. So you're going to want to kind of wash off any type of nasty, bad uh, smell or anything, or I don't, I don't know what the heck, nasty, bad taste, there we go, off of your coins or off of your emotions this month by putting them in the water. There we go. That's what I got for some reason. <laughs> but anyways, what you're going to want to really, really want to do is just allow yourself to spend money in the ways that make yourself feel the best in the first quarter of the month. The next quarter of the month, hey, you're going to be on a little journey, okay? In terms of this fool card, you know, this fool card isn't always talking about foolish. You know, you may, you may spend your money in a little bit of a foolish way, but what I'm really seeing here is the fool is, is that you're going to be kind of on this trek, on this journey, and you're going to be doing something different. There we go. You're going to be doing something different in terms of the second quarter of the month, and you're going to do something very, very, very different. It's going to be a fantastic feeling, a fantastic way to be able to kind of get things done in a different way, and it's going to kind of change your tracks up a little bit is what I'm getting. The fool is all about kind of just walking up and just doing whatever, and what I'm really seeing in terms of this fool here, it's all about that. He's all about that, doing whatever he wants to do at any time. So you need to kind of embrace that energy in the second quarter of the month and just do whatever you want to do and or get the things that need to be done in a way that is the way you want to do them. Okay. Very, very important. The next card is, well, it's kind of like that fiery passion. It's kind of going to fuel exactly what I just told you. Do what you want. Get the things done in the way that you want to get them done, okay? Just kind of embrace that energy. Don't allow anything to be done in a way that you don't want to. Allow the Queen of Wands to kind of light some passion and fire underneath your feet. And allow her to kind of give you a little bit of insight onto just 
how to get a, how to do the things that need to be done but in a way that makes you feel soothed and calm and it might be even the stuff that actually has to do with money this month okay it's a very very important thing to understand that in terms of the king of coins he is he's all about money and he's the first card that I pulled for your reading he actually kind of flew out and the rest of these are kind of just the cards that kind of just all came out as well but at the same time the king of coins is always you're going to be able to make more money whenever you're doing what you want to do in the way you want to do it and the queen of wands is really going to send that that really nice energy your way in terms of the second quarter to kind of get you to be able to do the things in the way that you want to do them i really think that's an important message that keeps coming up because yes you're going to really want to do the things in terms of your in terms of the way that you want to do them Woo, i just like sort of kind of dropped a little bit of cards but anyways you're going to really want to do the things that you want to do them because honestly your relationship do the relationship the way that you want to do it. Do allow the relationship to be the way that it wants to be. This month it's so important in terms for you because honest to goodness, whenever it comes to this relationship here, this two of cups, it's talking about this foolish thing, this 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 uh, this this fun this fun loving happy go lucky type feeling that's coming out of the fool here and this this queen of wands is kind of igniting that fire under your feet this two of cups saying your relationship's going to be affected by it or is it part of the relationship the money's definitely going to go to your relationship if you're in one because i see it right underneath it but what i also see here is this fool and this queen of wands that's kind of talking a little bit about you kind of getting the relationship, getting the things that need to be done in the relationship in the way that you want in the third quarter. And I think you're going to start it here and it's going to keep on going even in the third quarter is what I'm getting. This Two of Cups is absolutely a fantastic card to pull in your reading because not only is it kind of a thing about, you know, money's going to be helping it. Um, but I'm also seeing the Fool and the Queen of Wands kind of backing you up in terms of the Two of Cups. Kind of like they both have cups. You got the Fool holding one cup. Queen of Wands, another cup, and he's kind of like, they're kind of cheering, like, congratulations. You're kind of, you're kind of putting it up there. Could you see how it looks here? We've got, we've got here is the Fool, and here's the Queen of Wands. It looks a little bit alike, and they're kind of just holding hands, kind of like, hey, we're going to hold your hand through this journey, but at the same time, we're going to help your relationship. And I really think that just being able to do that fun-loving, happy attitude that you're really wanting to do, to, to do Aries, just embrace that all month long, and you'll see where it takes you. Okay? Or at least in the second quarter onwards. And look at this, the Five of Cups. Now, what does this girl have in common with the Two of Cups? Oh, she's holding two cups. So, that means a whole, whole, whole lot. That means a lot about your relationship. And it means hold on to your relationship tightly. Hold on to your partner tightly. Hold on to your values and your morals and the things that are going correctly. Hold on to them tightly. Tight, tight, tight this month because in terms of the third quarter, third quarter is a big deal. And third quarter is all talking about hold on to your partner, love your partner. The Two of Cups is talking about being together. And the Five of Cups is saying holding on to that and holding on to that feeling, holding on to that moment in the way that you want to okay it's very very important to understand that because in terms of this money going into your feelings money might even be going into your relationship and into your relationships feelings but it's really just all up to you and I feel like this energy is kind of going to be for a lot of the month all up to you in order to get the things that need to be done done and honestly I'm seeing this to be not only in a relationship this is about work this is about playtime this is about you this is about you Aries and Aries you need to hold on to what is dear to you you need to hold on to eat either the relationship or into this little journey and this little happiness that the fool and the queen of wands are giving to you no matter what it is you need to hold on to it tightly and dearly in terms of the third quarter of the month and let it guide you because honestly third quarter of the month it's a big big deal and you're going to see that a lot of things that you hold on to are going to really really blossom and are going to want to going to really just be with you for quite a while okay the next card here is talking about ooh the devil now the, now, the fourth quarter here is talking a little bit about, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be in a very powerful place. And if you see the devil here, he kind of has all of the suits in his hands here. And he's kind of able to look at them and kind of fiddle with them. And what I'm really seeing here is, is this, this, this little situation that you've created, that you've held on to, by the third, by the fourth quarter, sorry, uh, you're going to be able to kind of fiddle with it and be able to really do exactly what you want to do with it. I am seeing in terms of devil here that you really, really want to embrace this very, very, very strongly and allow yourself to kind of get, get, get deep in it, you know, get, get, get hands deep in it and just kind of fiddle with it and allow yourself to really make this situation last 
it is so important for you to do so. Because the devil here is talking all about you being able to kind of fiddle with things. I'm just getting fiddle with it. Fiddle with things. The devil's talking about fiddle with things in this fourth quarter. Fiddle with these situations. Fiddle with these. For, if you have any mind left over, fiddle with it even more. And the fool and the queen of wands is talking about fiddle with that situation. Fiddle with your relationship. Hey, just fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Okay. Just play around and have fun. This is what the point. This is what the whole energy is this month, Aries. Play around, have fun, spend money the way you want to, live life the way you want to, and do the relationship the way you want to, and hold all the things that you want to do very close to you this month. What's the last card here? Judgment. Now, this is a very big, big card to have at the end of your reading because this is a chance for you, Aries, to be revived, to be completely and totally revived, and to actually be able to experience life in the exact way that you want to. It is so, so, so important, Aries, to understand just how important this Judgment card is and how important these these two cards together are fiddling with things, li fiddle with your life, do the, th you know, kind of mess with the things that need to be messed with and get yourself so far because judgment is ending you right here, talking about uplifting, talking about being able to really end your, your month strong, really strong, two major arcana cards strong, hugely strong, and being able to feel lifted and feel revived. You are going to feel revived though, especially if you go along with these cards, say, because they're all talking about you doing the things you want to do anyways. So the judgment here is just talking talking about believe in it and believe in, in exactly what you want to do, Aries, okay? This is so, so important because you're going to be able to really go ridiculously far with this and just realize in terms of the King of Coins, Knight of Cups, the Fool and the Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups, that's all talking about you doing what you want to do and by the end of it, oh, it's going to show. It's going to show, this is just a little bit, little bit of nitpicking, you know, a little bit of uh, playing around with it. But at the end of this, this month, it is a big, big deal. And you're going to feel uplifted. You're going to feel explosive. There we go. It's going to be an explosive and, 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 a, and a beautiful beginning. So, honest to goodness, that has been a really, really fun, fun, fun reading to do for you, Aries, uh, today. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I've done it, or as much as I've enjoyed doing it. Uh, I also do private readings, and that is, um, it's going to be $50 for a 30-minute Skype session reading, uh, $75 for a 60-minute Skype session reading, and it's $35 for a little YouTube video that's kind of just like this for you. Um, I absolutely love, 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 love doing these Skype session readings for you guys and, and you know, talking to you guys face to face and figuring out your problems and doing every single thing. My guys love it. I love it. Everybody loves it. And it's really, 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 really fun. I just want to say thank you guys all and thank everybody for subscribing and doing all those different things and leaving comments. You guys are so sweet and it makes me feel so lighthearted and so warm inside whenever I read these things and whenever I see these new subscribers. So anyways, thank you so much guys for, for coming on here and, um, you know, listening to me and doing these types of things. And I have just been, I've been having a lot of fun. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. And I hope you guys have a great night and I hope you guys have a great month. And uh, stick tuned because I might do some type of like free reading thing for you guys, um, like a little thing where I pick for my subscribers, because honest to goodness, you guys have been so sweet and so nice, I really, really, really need to give you guys a little bit back, and I'm really excited to meet some of you, so, yeah, so free reading for a subscriber coming soon, I can't wait to do that, okay, bye-bye, bye, bye-bye. <laughs>